is Magpie187. And I know you're probably wondering, Cartier? Affordable? I mean, those two can't be in one sentence. Um, but actually, they can. It's not going to be dirt cheap, but it's not going to be completely unattainable for, well, those who are seeking to obtain something like Cartier. So this piece, I've got it as one of my first few purchases from Cartier. And um, it's both chic and uh, playful at the same time. So I can put it on, wear it to work, um, going out with friends or even on holiday. So it's something that you can just wear and forget about, but at the same time adds a little touch um, to whatever you're wearing. And um, I bought it for myself and it comes as a gift. It comes in the usual beautiful um, red bags with this string. This is an old purchase. I bought this um, around a year and a half ago, if not a year ago. I don't quite remember. And it comes in the smallest of boxes. Now, I have other purchases from Cartier and they come with more elaborate packaging. But this one, I guess because it's on the lower end of what they offer, this is um, what you'll be getting. Still, it's very neat. It's a really beautiful packaging, very sturdy. It feels luxurious as well. Not too light, but not too heavy either. And you open it and you get a little... Instruction, a card of instruction where it shows you how it's done, how the cord is um, wrapped around the jewellery, the rings. And there is a little velvet wrap with Cartier on it, and here it is. This is one of the few cords that I've had. I tend to change them quite often because there are quite a few Cartier um, boutiques in London. So if I'm uh, stopping by um, somewhere like Selfridges or Harrods or... Um, the boutique in New Bond Street then I just go in and say hi can you just play, change it for me and they have a range of colors that you can choose from it takes around 10 minutes to get it changed and this is a trinity ring it's sorry let's focus it comes in uh, white gold yellow gold and rose gold and it's just so nice this is the latest color I've had I've not worn it in a while uh, because it needs some change and I need it tightened up as well and I have to be really honest with you I don't know how to do that on myself but I'll try to wear it as it is I tr guys I tried to put this on my hand and it just failed because it's just not tied up properly at the moment I've not worn this in a few months and it needs changing and it needs some maintenance. So I have to take it tomorrow or this week to Cartier to get it done. I'd really, really like to put it back on. I, it's something I enjoy wearing in the summer especially. And I just keep it on, shower, go to work, do everything that I can do, even exercise in them. And they're absolutely fine. Um, I think it's a good purchase. When I first bought it, it was around £480 and now it's... 500 and something I will um, I'll show you on the website um, I'll insert a video here so when you go on Cartier's website um, you'll see the Trinity bracelets and the one on the left is the one I will show you which is the one I have it comes in black on the website um, as when I bought it was 480 now it's 510 I think it's because it's a currency Still, it really looks very beautiful on the model. So you see there has been some price increase and you can see it on the hand of the model. It's just so nice and the colour change and the infinite possibilities that you can have this colour in. It's, I think it's really worth it. If you really want to own something that is Cartier, that is hip, that's fashionable, um, this could be a good, a good um, first piece 
And, you know, let's be real, I'll make a video on that later, but you can't, probably can't even buy um, a purse from Chanel for that price. So, um, I would say gold, Cartier, nice packaging, infinite possibilities of maintenance and change of colour, I think it's a good deal. So, if you feel like having uh, your first uh, Cartier um, purchase, this could be a good place to start. Okay guys, let me know if you have any ideas in mind of other Cartier, especially jewellery to review. I've got a few here and there and, and um, I would love to show you the wear and tear and how I bought it, etc. So let me know, um, please like this video if you liked it and leave me in the comments what you'd like to see next and uh, see you again soon, bye!